City University. Ang candidates for graduation in Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering. We are here today to present to you our research project entitled Mushroom Cultivation Mobile Control Monitoring with Digital Imaging. Before I begin, I would like to introduce to you the researchers. I am Erin Dumagas. This is Mr. Ern Bautista. This is Mr. Gabriel Pusto. And our Mr. Oliver Mangonon. Mr. Edelina Masendo, Mr. Ian Salvador, and Mr. Vilmar Canta. The purpose of the project why we came up with this one is because we've seen that cultivating mushroom is still in a conventional way. And we thought that by automatically regulating the temperature and humidity of the mushroom house, it will improve the production of mushroom with less supervision, which minimizes the production costs and increases the profits of mushroom farmers. It also helps boost the farming or agriculture of the country, being used by many farmers. The benefactors or the users of the pro project are the mushroom farmers or the cultivators and we have tested this one to one of the cultivators of mushroom and they say it is working. The beginning of the study, we checked for the needs analysis. We have conducted a survey and we came up with the result that 100% of response pundits answered yes that this research study and the system would be beneficial and would be a great assistance to determine the amount of moisture, humidity, and temperature of cultivation area, which can save time, can ease the heavy work of cultivators, and will make our respondents to become not dependent on waiting on the right season of cropping and cultivating. Overall, 95% of the respondents is in favor to implement this study as they assume that this project will become a great assistance to increase product in the markets. Now we created this project with these devices. We have an exhaust fan, a water pump, a mist cooling system, a heater, and a two sensors which is DHT22 sensor and a soil moisture sensor. And then we have here a relay and then our controller board this is the Arduino board and we also have an 8266 Wi-Fi module which is connected to the internet to send data of the sensor readings and the status of the apparatus to the data to the cloud database or to the back end to be used by the front end software we also have an ESP32 Wi-Fi camera module connected again to another Arduino Uno board to serve as our digital imaging camera. In here, inside our greenhouse, we have an oyster mushroom. Or depend, depending on what type of mushroom you want to cultivate. Now in here, this type of mushroom, the oyster, oyster mushroom, the temperature needed to grow this type of mushroom is from the range of 25 to 29 degrees Celsius and with the humidity of 67%. Now, the Arduino on the board acts, a, acts as a microcontroller. It automa automatically regulates the temperature from 25 to 29 degrees Celsius. If the temperature becomes above 29 degrees Celsius and the humidity is below 80%, this exhaust fan and this mist cooling system will automatically turn on to lower the temperature. And if the temperature becomes below 25 degrees Celsius, the heater, the heater will automatically turn on to raise the temperature. Now, let's take a look at our software. Our software is made from Android Studio 4.1 and it can run on any Android OS. Version 9 and above. Now, let's click on the mushroom button. In here, there are four buttons. Water, activity log, camera, and readings. Now, let's take a look at the water button. If the soil moisture reading is low, the back end will automatically send notification to this device. Say, reminding us, reminding the user that it's time to water the pad straw. Now, let's simulate it to see the notification. While waiting for the notification, let's click the water button. In here, you can remotely enable and disable the water pump. Anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. 
Now let's try it. There's the notification saying the soil moisture is low. And then here it is. The water pump is, is enabled now. We disable it. It was disabled. And now, to the next button. In here, the activity log. The Arduino on the board automatically sends send data to the cloud database, the sensor readings, and the status of the baratos every 3 minutes. Now, by clicking this activity log button, we can recover 2 months of, of data to be used for cultivating mushroom. And then, on the readings, by the way, the activity log can be accessed anywhere in the world. Again, this, in the reading button, this, this button will also be accessed anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. In here, you will find the real-time data of temperature, heat index, humidity, soil moisture, and the status of the apparatus. And lastly, on the camera button, in here, you can put multiple cameras on different location on your mushroom house. As long as you get their IP address, you can access it on the same network. But if you like to access it anywhere in the world, we recommend to use an IP camera that has a dynamic IP address like in that noip.com and then click the open with browser because it will open on the web on the Google Chrome. In the, in the web. And here now, this is the IP address of the ESP32 camera. Let's open it. And now we can change the veg video settings, XVGA. And then we can start the stream. And then we close the toggle and here it is, the video. As you can see, that's my hand. And we can view inside the mushroom. Now, and here is the name of the researchers. Now, may give you to our next presenter, Mr. Ern Bautista. Now, after creating the output, we have conducted the survey if the device is acceptable. We choose our machine cultivators as our respondents of this project because based on the criteria that we have set, these participants are capable and suitable in providing best information that will support our project. By using a Likert type or 4-point scale, our project garnered an overall rating having 3.44 average with me, which is perfectly acceptable. We also conducted an experiment on the mushroom that by using this device, it can exponentially grow better than conventional method. We want to address that this project is needed on the market for we see that this is the most effective and efficient way that will increase the productivity of mushroom in the market. And based on the outcomes and results, we came up for some recommendations such as it would be better if future researchers can install a camera where it can detect insects. It is recommended to have a dedicated server with a dynamic address to remotely access the camera in different locations, even outside the network, using mobile phone. It is also recommended to use a solar panel and a battery to minimize the cost of electricity. It is also recommended that future researchers should place the created application in the Play Store or in an App Store so that your mobile device can monitor it. And we, as computer engineers who want to engage technology to agriculture, we mostly recommend to, to implement environmental knowledge to the curricula of every school to recalibrate our mind without harming and destroying the earth and their futures in creating new tools and projects without affecting them negatively but positively because together, 
our micro efforts will have a macro effect to save our home, our planet, and our emerging technologies. That's the end of our presentation. Good morning.